Hey, dude, I think I, I found the real thing. I found a real dinosaur over here, dude. Come on over. Look. Look. It's a real dinosaur right here. It's got to be. I was just over here digging for dinos in my backyard. And look, that's a... That's got to be the real thing. <gasps> Whoa. Wow, this thing is perfect. This is like... I mean, it's preserved so well, right? I mean, usually you just find bones, but... This is just a real entire dinosaur. I wonder what kind it is. I mean, with spikes, it's got to be like a, a Stegolosaurus or maybe a Spikeosaurus guy. Uh, there's a lot of different. Oh man, it could be any kind of dinosaur. Let's, we got, we'll figure that out later. Man, this thing was a great find, but it's time that we start the video. So, my name is Jaden Darnell, and this is KCTV, and it's time to dig into the wonderful world of dinosaurs. Is everybody ready? Lights? Camera? Action. This is KCTV, broadcasting to you from Columbus, Indiana. Are you ready to learn all the secrets of the universe? Hi, and welcome to my Kids Commons Research Lab. And lately, I've been doing a lot of reflecting on the past. 66 million years ago, to be exact, during the Mesozoic era, when these large, giant creatures with scales all over them roamed the land, and those creatures were called dinosaurs. Now, how do we know dinosaurs existed if they lived so long ago? Well, I have the answer right here. Now these are called fossils, and fossils are basically cold hard evidence of things that lived in the past, including dinosaurs. Now sometimes fossils aren't always just dinosaurs or animals, they can be other objects such as a shell. Now. I have my very own time machine, and I'm going to use that time machine to go back in time. That way these fossils will turn into actual dinosaurs. It sounds like a great idea. All right, my fossils are placed down. Now I'm going to go ahead and go inside my time machine here, and hopefully when I come back out, we'll have some dinosaurs up and roaming around. Hi everyone, it's Nick here coming from inside of the time machine and things finally started calming down so I think it worked and I think we're actually back into the Mesozoic era. So I'm going to go ahead and head outside and see what I find. Huh, I don't see any dinosaurs or- <gasps> It's a Brachiosaurus! Roar. I'm the Brachiosaurus. The T-Rex and the Triceratops are fighting. Roar. The shell is back. Oh yeah. It's a shell. Roar. Look at the shell I found. Roar. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this journey through time with me. Um, I hope you learned a lot about fossils, dinosaurs, and all that cool stuff from the past. And I will see you guys next time. Welcome to Awfully Awesome Art, where I do art and it turns out awesome, like my dragon here. So we aren't talking about dragons today, but we are talking about something kind of similar to dragons. They're big, they roar, some of them fly, and they also lived millions and millions of years ago. What are they? Dinosaurs! That's right, dinosaurs. Did you know that there were over 700 different species of dinosaurs, Bruh. including the Huhu Canalithus 
and the Ani Kani Critteris. <laughs> Moving on, it's time to introduce today's craft, which will be egg carton dinosaurs. For this craft, you will need a piece of an egg carton that's cut out, and I have my pre painted one here. You will need a paintbrush, paint, some googly eyes, a fuzzy stick, and some glue. Once you have everything you need, you're ready to bring your prehistoric friends to life. Isn't he cute? He could definitely use some more dinosaur friends though, so I'm gonna head on over back to my art room and make some friends for him. That way they don't go extinct. And on that note, we're gonna hand it back over to Whitney. <laughs> this thing isn't a dinosaur at all, it's a stupid puffer fish. Last bus is loading. Join us if you'd like to tour the land once roamed by dinosaurs. Don't worry, this land is no longer inhabited by dinosaurs. We do want you to keep your arms in just in case, but feel free to look around. There are no dinosaurs, just a lush land. But, um, there must be an elephant here. We'll zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I think that's an elephant. Whoa, that must be an eagle. That's a weird looking eagle. What is that? is completely useless because it's just a little puffer fish not even a cool dinosaur um, well I mean I guess we better just put it back where it, where it came from right well anyways thank you for joining us for this week's episode of KCTV we hope to see you again next time but until then stay digging I've waited here for centuries for you don't think I can't wait any longer I will destroy you, Jaden Darnell, if my name isn't Puffy Pufferton the Third.